This video explains the idea behind the big int proposal, introducing a new primitive of arbitrary precision integers, which is included in the language specification of 2020, the 11th edition. Here we go. But make sure to hit the like button in case you enjoyed, and subscribe to not miss new content. In ECMAScript, number.max safe integer specifies the maximum safe integer that is acceptable by the engine, and is set to 2 to the power of 53 minus 1. This constant arrives from the double precision floating point format numbers, that the engines use in order to exactly represent numbers, and to allow comparing them correctly. In practice, the number primitive is represented up to 52 explicitly stored bits, of the fraction, with sign and exponent bits. Although that most of the time it would be apparently enough, at times, we might need to represent an arbitrarily large integer. One example from real life, is Twitter IDs which are unique 64-bit unsigned integers based on timestamps. These IDs overflow the maximum safe integer and to handle that, Twitter decided to represent IDs as strings together with numbers. Another example is the fs.stats object in Node.js, which practically could hold the same Eno value for completely different files, and potentially, lead to various bugs. Indeed, representing arbitrarily large numbers using strings is still an option, but now, with big int proposal. There is a true and built-in way to store them in numeric variables. So, on that note, let's introduce the proposal. The proposal specifies a new big int numeric primitive to represent integers with arbitrary precision, larger than 2 to the power of 53 minus 1, which is said, is the maximum safe integer of the number primitive. According to the official definition of the specification, big int talks about non-limited integers supporting mathematical operations. Let's characterize this primitive. A big int primitive is directly created by appending n suffix to an integer literal. Notice that the type of the operand is actually a big int. It should be noted that this given numeric literal doesn't have to be an integer solely, but binary, octal and hexadecimal is necessary. Moreover, the primitive has an equivalent wrapper object, called big int, allowing to construct it by a given regular integer number or string. Both given literals could represent the different bases like binary, octal or hexadecimal although string is capable to exceed the maximum safe integer supposedly. Like the regular number primitive, basic arithmetic operations are naturally supported. Note that division works as expected, however, it rounds any fractional result towards zero in case of begin operands. Also, all of the bitwise operators are supported except the zero fill right shift. Speaking of unsupported operators, unary plus isn't supported as well, to avoid breaking ASMJS. Important to mention that in any case of operation, both operands must be big int. Meaning, we cannot mix big int with a number primitive. And that makes sense, since big int cannot represent fractions, whereas the number primitive is limited by a safe integer value. It is noteworthy that we can convert one operand to the other using its wrapper object, explicitly and wisely, according to limitations, and so to mix indirectly. We just mentioned that explicit conversions are allowed, and so is abstract equality. This means that abstract equality behaves as usual, when mixing big int operand with operands from other types. The truth is, that the operands of relational operators are mixable as well. As to strict equality, written by triple equals, the result could be true only if both operands are of the same primitive type. Don't forget to hit the like button in case you enjoy, and to subscribe to my channel.